yes friends now let us go and understand about how to set the demo nature for a particular thread and how to get that particular demo nature of course uh, before we have seen that one example for what is that a default demo nature okay let it be now let us go and set the def i mean demo nature for a thread how to set the demo nature for a thread please understand okay try to catch my flow otherwise you cannot get it okay it will be something like fuzzy guys honestly speaking so now what is this setting the demo nature okay demo nature one restriction to us what is that restriction one should not change the demo nature of a thread if the thread has been started already what is that what is that very important point everyone should be aware of this one you cannot you cannot change change the demo nature demo nature demo nature of a thread okay of a thread if it had, if it has been started if it has been started if it has been started already getting if it has been started already please understand my phrases and my flow otherwise i mean if you understand and if you catch my flow it will be very simple for you no need to mug up anything every concept for each and every step i'm giving an analysis how to write that one okay so that you can frame on your own way some lacks of examples no need to mug up the examples also guys please understand me i'm going through the concept only okay please understand you have to understand the analysis okay now so if it has been started already what is that you cannot uh, change the demo nature of a thread if it has been started earlier if you are going to change the demo nature of a thread if you are going to change the demo nature of a thread which has been started already think that it has started already and now you are going and changing the demo nature of a thread what is going to get happen at the time we have discussed that one what is that it is going to throw illegal thread state exception when we are going to get illegal thread state exception and when we are going to get illegal monitor state exception means i will tell okay otherwise otherwise there will be runtime exception as what illegal thread state exception whenever you are talking about threads and something goes wrong okay most probably you will be getting illegal thread state exception and whenever you are talking about locks lock lock of an instance lock of an object i mean lock of a class if you are talking about lock of an instance lock of a class then you are going to get illegal monitor state exception okay we are going to discuss about that thing in our synchronization concept okay i'll make it very simple even you have to be good only in this thing coding part if you are not good in coding part means you are not uh, eligible to be okay no need to talk about that i'm sorry okay now try to understand this uh, how setting the demo nature now let me take one class okay let it be like what is that log default uh, daemon which extends which extends a uh, thread okay now let me override public void uh, run method in order to make my class or our class run method to get executed by the child thread otherwise it is going to execute the thread class run method how we have seen that thing you have to be very good in nlsh session okay i didn't put anything like like a dumb person with great analysis itself i have put each and everything you should have some patience to follow my things and you should be very specific to catch my flow okay it's very important okay now now let it be the run method and public static void main okay now what i'm going to do here is uh, i'm going to create an instance of this and default uh, a demo let it be d an instance i mean uh, which is an adding for which is going to refer this instance in the memory and default demo okay now before i do start okay think that after starting the thread okay now if i go and change the demo nature like set uh, demo okay it is going to give what if set demo as true means it is going to behave as what a demo thread about this methods we have seen right what is that public uh, methods public final void so what is that method public final void set 
daemon okay so as an argument you have to pass what boolean so if b is true means what is the meaning it is a daemon thread okay it is a daemon thread okay if b is true means it is a daemon thread just remember this one what is the data opposite for that one what is other case here for as false if b is true means it is daemon other case is what if b is false means it is non daemon no need to remember that one remember only this one okay now false means non daemon thread okay now how to get uh, the daemon nature public final okay boolean is daemon okay so it is going to return true or false if it gives if it gives true means it is what daemon thread if it gives false means it is non daemon thread okay these are all the methods which are available in our thread class okay now okay let it be now we are here so after starting a thread if i do start i mean if i do say the daemon nature what is going to be happen illegal thread state exception is going to be raised to us right raised to us right we'll discuss even this scenario also okay let it be this as one scenario before i do start the thread i am going to change the daemon nature what is that set daemon okay set daemon true okay now this thread is going to become that is child thread before i do start the child thread i set the daemon nature now the child thread here will behave as what daemon thread it is going to work for our main thread not only for our main thread how many number of non daemon threads were there in our application for those many number of non daemon threads it is going to work in background it is going to get execute in the background please understand this one if i do set this uh, daemon i mean set daemon as true means that is going to become as what daemon thread what is the main aim of our main, i mean main implementation of daemon threads they are going to execute in background what is that they are going to execute in the background in order to support in order to give the support for other non daemon threads which are available in our application they are going to execute in the background until non daemon threads finish their job or finish their executions how to prove that one programmatically that is also very important to us okay but just just try to understand this one now i have set the daemon nature for uh, child thread as what true so i am going to check that daemon nature here okay i am going to check that daemon nature how i can do check that one it is so simple just put one guys just put okay just put what is that just put what sop of okay sop of is daemon okay why i am taking this one directly in the sop statement its return type is what boolean primitive that's why i am taking that one and why i am not uh, calling that one on any reference means i have created an instance of this one only one instance has been created in the memory for our application and that instance only it is going to call de is daemon method no need to get confused and i have taken that one directly within the instance area this coding style you have to follow this type of coding style will be there in our big data or whatever higher technologies of java okay you have to be very specific okay now so it is going to return as what here true okay so answer will be as what true and this is one scenario if i do this thing there will be an exception as what a runtime exception saying as what saying as what guys illegal illegal thread state exception okay illegal thread state exception okay which is unchecked exception okay now we are going to execute this small snippet piece of code okay please try to observe this one okay